All right, so in this video, we're going to take the parts off of the Esheen Nano LR3. If you missed that video, I'll put a card in the corner here for that and link it in the description if you want to see that review. But basically, I take all the parts out of this frame and we're going to stick it into this four inch frame. And uh, hopefully the motor wires will be long enough. We'll find out here after I pull all the parts out. So I got all the um, parts out of the old frame and for the most part everything actually went in okay. The motor wires were long enough for the front arms but not for the rear. They're a little short so I'm going to have to get some race wire put on here in the arms and that ought to give me a little bit more space or length to get the motor on on the back. and. Um, the only thing I desoldered was the original three wires for the S-Bus receiver and I have instead wired up a Express LRS receiver with the antenna up here in the front. I did flip the board over so it's actually flipped over 180 degrees on the roll axis. This is kind of a strange board with the USB port kind of pointing. It was pointing on the left side on the pointing down so I flipped it over so all the wires that were soldered on are on the underside now. This frame did not have a whoop style mount so I actually created a little 3D print here. You can see it's underneath. I squeezed it in between the uh, two sandwich plates and that gave me a mount points for the screw here on the left and the right side. No screw in the front and the back. Should be fine. I guess we'll see. And then I resolder the um, I soldered on an XT30 connector because I'm going to be flying some XT30 batteries. I created all these little 3D printer parts. I'll link those in the description. Uh, I'll mount for the GPS here, the M80 GPS, which I was able to get to work once I pulled all the parts out. I think possibly the VTX might have been interfering in uh, this, the way it was stuffed in here. So we'll have to see. I have to try and keep the um, VTX away from the wire that goes to the GPS that should um, let me get the locks and uh, probably some sort of a mount here in the back off the top plate. I do have this kind of unusual mount here in the front for an Insta360 GO 2. Also mounted my Express LRS antenna on the bottom there and put the camera up on top. It's kind of like uh, that FR7 7 inch where the GoPro was below the FPV camera instead of the FPV camera up here on the top plate, so that'll allow me to get closer to the ground. Just want to try this out. I might uh, do some more of these for other four inch builds later. I guess we'll uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. But um, for the most part, I didn't really do any uh, soldering. There's a lot, as you saw, when I pulled everything, I was a rat's nest of wires. Did have to sort of tidy them up a little bit there. And um, uh, some of these were, I don't know. I guess this one had to be long enough for the camera to reach. The GPS wire is still a little bit too long, but that's okay. I may shorten it up later. And we'll see uh, how this looks after we get the top plate on. All right, so this is uh, what the race wire looks like. I've got this flywheel race wire and just on the back motors. And I went ahead and I flipped the board in beta flight and also Swap the motor resources in BFI as well in the CLI. Uh, do not change anything else. I think I'm going to lower the pits because now we're on a four inch prop and not a three inch prop. I am using a zip tie and heat shrink to mount the VTX antenna and using some tape to hold the VTX to the top plate like that. And a little bit of a zip tie there to hold the XT30. 
and I'm going to use um, this LiPo, this 1550 GNB. It's a 2S LiPo. I'll link that in the description. I'm using the um, Gemfan um, 4 inch props. And so now let's see how much all this weighs with all the extra mounts and everything. So the drone by itself is 107.9. It's about uh, 8 grams heavier. It's literally 99 grams in the uh, uh, previous configuration. And then with the 2S battery that I'm going to use, 177.5 grams. So I think if we throw on the Insta360 Insta Go 2, we should be right around 200 grams, maybe a little bit over. So, well, that's about it. Go ahead and take off for a fly and see how this does.